All right, let's jump right in. We're going to be breaking down a new tool from OpenAI today that's really set to change the game in how software gets built. It's called GPT-5 Codex, and trust me, it's a huge step up from what we've seen before. You know, this quote really nails it. What OpenAI has built here is less like a piece of software and more like a true teammate, a coding partner that is just relentlessly persistent for anyone from a solo developer to a massive company. And when I say relentless, I mean it. In one test, OpenAI just let this thing run and it worked on its own on a pretty tough software task for over seven hours straight, no breaks. It was writing code, testing that code, finding its own mistakes and fixing them, just grinding until the job was done. So what is this thing? How can an assistant work longer and harder than most humans can even focus? Let's get into what really makes GPT-5 Codex tick. See, this isn't just your regular general purpose AI that just happens to be good at coding. Nope. OpenAI created a specialist. They took their incredibly powerful GPT-5 model and basically put it through an intense boot camp focused on one thing and one thing only, the entire real world process of building software. And this is how it got so good. It didn't just read a bunch of textbooks about programming. It learned by doing. It practiced the exact same things human developers do all day, every day. Building from a totally blank page, fixing nasty bugs, and even reviewing code with the sharp eye of a senior level engineer. It's been trained on the real work. Okay, so that training sounds impressive, but what does it actually translate to? How does it perform in the real world? Well, the numbers show a pretty incredible leap forward. First, to really get what the next slide means, we have to talk about something called code refactoring. The easiest way to think about it is like a deep professional cleaning for your software's code. It's not about adding new features, it's about taking messy, complicated code and making it clean, efficient, and healthy. It's super important, but it's also really hard and time consuming. And boom, here you can see that massive jump in performance. The old model wasn't bad, right? It got this tough job done about a third of the time. But look at Codex, it's successful more than half the time. That is a huge improvement on a really difficult task. Let's put that in perspective. A 51% boost in one of the most tedious parts of a developer's job isn't just a small step. For a business, this can literally save days, maybe even weeks of development time on a project. That's real money and real time back in your pocket. But it's not just about doing tasks better. The AI is showing a completely new level of intelligence in how it works. It's not just about raw power, it's about thinking smarter. Just look at this table. This really shows the difference between just working hard and working smart. Codex is three times less likely to give you bad advice. More than half of its feedback is high impact, which means it finds the really important problems. And get this, it does it all by saying less, focusing only on the feedback that actually matters. And here's what might be the most brilliant part. It's incredibly efficient. It knows how to manage its own brain power. If you give it an easy task, it just zips through it without wasting energy. But if you give it a really hard problem, it actually doubles down. It spends twice as much time thinking, testing, and trying again until it gets the right answer. And look, this isn't just some experiment in a lab. Major companies like Cisco are already using this stuff. They're handing off complex work to Codex, which frees up their human developers to focus on the big picture, all while shipping crucial new features faster than ever. So when you see it being used like that in the real world, you start to realize this is way bigger than just a tool for developers. This is where the technology starts to change the entire game for entrepreneurs and business owners. This right here, this is the revolution. For decades, the biggest barrier between a great idea and a real product has been learning the complex language of code. Well, that barrier is starting to crumble. You can just describe what you want, what your vision is, and this AI can turn it into reality. It's literally designed to get rid of all the technical headaches. You can show it a sketch on a napkin and it can build it. It sets up its own complicated coding environment for you and it's secure right out of the box. Every single step is designed to be easier. The whole way you work is completely connected. You could start a project on your main computer at the office, make a quick tweak on your phone while you're in a taxi and then polish it off in a web browser from home. Your project is always in sync, no matter where you are. And you've got to see this number, 90%. Thanks to some serious upgrades behind the scenes, anytime you ask for a change or a new feature, that follow-up work gets done up to 90% faster. 
For any modern business that needs to move quickly, that is an absolute game changer. So if we pull back and look at the big picture, the takeaway here is so much more than just a faster way to write code. What we're looking at is a fundamental shift in the competitive landscape for almost every single business out there. And that's really the ultimate impact, isn't it? For the first time, a small startup with a brilliant idea has access to the same kind of development firepower that used to be reserved for giant corporations with massive engineering departments. It completely levels the playing field. So the choice for every business is becoming crystal clear. The ones who jump on this early, the ones who learn how to work with these AI tools, they're going to move faster, build better stuff, and gain a massive advantage. And the ones who wait, they're going to be struggling to play catch up as the speed of innovation just gets faster and faster. And that's really the question this technology leaves us with. It's not a matter of if AI is going to change things anymore. It's happening right now. The only question left for every entrepreneur, for every business leader, is a strategic one. Are you going to be the one leading this change or are you going to be forced to react to it?